recently, Representative Madison Cawthorn was interviewed by a right wing YouTube channel called Warrior Poet Society. And during that interview, he made some pretty serious allegations against other Republican members of Congress. Let's watch. The sexual perversion that goes on in Washington, I mean, it being kind of a young guy in Washington, with the average age of probably 60 or 70. And I look at all these people, a lot of them that I, you know, I've looked up to through my life, I've always paid attention to politics, guys that, you know, it, then all of a sudden you get invited to, like, well, hey, we're gonna have kind of a, a, a sexual get together at one of our homes, you should come. And I'm like, what, what, what did you just ask me to come to? Yeah. Uh, and then you realize they're asking you to come to an orgy. Yeah. Uh, or, or the fact that you know there's some of the people that are leading on the movement to try and remove you know addiction in our country, and then you watch them do you know a key bump of cocaine right in front of you, and it's like wow, this is this is wild. So uh, look, he specifically mentions politicians that he used to admire. Right? There's no way this like rabid right winger has ever admired Democratic members of Congress. So he's specifically referring to Republicans. And he's claiming that these Republican lawmakers have encouraged him to join in orgies with them while they're taking bumps of cocaine. I, I first off, look, I obviously, I I'm going to speculate that he's lying here, but if he is lying, it's amazing what like people can get away with, like just claiming that this kind of stuff is happening. I mean, he didn't name any names, so maybe that's why he can just straight out lie with like no real issues. But like, come on, bro. Like, no one's asking you to really, really, Republican members of Congress are asking you to join them in orgies as they're sniffing Coke. Okay. Chance that's true. It is zero. Um, look, I, you know, sense I would love it if it were true, right? So, would you? Yeah, why? No, because then, okay, apparently Mitch McConnell, Chuck Grassley, whoever else is involved, is in the, the sickest orgies in, in American no, no. history. Okay, and it would be hilarious and awful and, and a spectacular uh, news story, right? Oh my God, it turns out Republican leadership is literally screwing each other. <laughs> so, it would be an amazing, it would, it would be one of the most amazing stories of our lifetimes. And I and there are political opponents. I, I it would be great if they were involved in a sex scandal, but there is no way that he got invited to an orgy by a seventy-year-old Republican senator. That's insane. He's just nuts, man. He's a United States congressman at this point. There are <laughs> people. Nuts, huh? He, oh, <laughs> they probably asked him about that too. Um, <laughs> oh God, what's wrong with us? So. No, but really, what's wrong with them? I mean, like mm -hmm. the guy interviewing him. First of all, if I was interviewing him uh, and he said, "Oh yeah, and they invited me to an orgy," I would be like, "No, they didn't." Okay, there's no way that's true. Who was it? Right? He, of course, like the, the guy interviewing him doesn't ask him that. But by the second answer, you see the guy's like holding back, like, "Oh my god, oh my god." Okay, you'll see when you see his face. I know that face. Like, I can't believe he just said that. And I might get famous. <laughs> That's, and now I'm putting a little couple of assumptions into his head, but you'll see here in a second. But the only thing that is, <laughs> you see the guy, the host, look. <laughs> yep. Yeah, yeah. mm, 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 mm. <laughs> yeah, could be. <laughs> could be. Okay. <laughs> All right. The only one that's believable is the cocaine. Um, yeah, yeah. Good point. I actually wanted to talk about that because. Look, man, I'm in my 30s and I get real tired during the work day, like fatigued, like you wouldn't believe. Like I don't, I don't know how they're keeping up that energy, and I've suspected that there were stimulants involved in the past. So I don't think it's that far fetched that they're taking stimulants of some sort. We're talking about people who are, you know, in their golden years. Yeah, but if he just said cocaine and it wasn't Madison Cawthorn, I'd say, oh, that's a really interesting revelation. But it's Madison Cawthorn who says the craziest stuff all the time, right? That's <laughs> important context. And second of all, he just told us that he got invited to an orgy by the Republican caucus. Okay, so they're like, come and caucus. Uh, oh my God. No, so in that context, I mean, it sounds like he's 
making up an eyes wide shut Gordon Gecko type of thing in his head. He's like referring to old movies and he said a president from the 90s agreed or something. He's in some sort of like obvious, hilarious, ridiculous lie. The kind of lie that you tell a girlfriend when you're caught absolutely red handed, right? <laughs> oh, no, honey, no, it wasn't me. It was Mitch McConnell. He had invited us to an orgy. And we were doing cocaine and things got carried away, right? So ain't nobody going to an orgy with Mitch McConnell. That's the least believable lie I have ever heard in my life. Have you seen Mitch McConnell? Okay. Oh my God. So look, I'm not naming names. He just said people that he looked up to. He said Madison Cawthorn didn't look up to any Democrats. So he's gotta be talking about Republicans. So now look. I think the the interest well that's the interesting part of the story. I think the important part of the story is are Republican voters going to put him back in office? And the answer is well look his district got changed so maybe the answer is not clear, but if his district was the same, oh, for sure they would. They wouldn't care that he's got clinical issues. I mean, I either the Republican voters should be outraged by the nonstop drug fueled you know cocaine inspired orgies that their leaders are having, but they won't be because no one believes Cawthorn, right? Or they should be worried that the person they elected is mentally ill. Nope, they won't have either one of those logical conclusions. They just keep reelecting people who have clear mental problems like Marjorie Taylor Greene and her Jewish space lasers and Donald Trump and is injecting bleach and and a thousand other things and supporting in the in the press people who are like Glenn Beck, Roseanne Barr have said yes, we have mental health issues. We're trying to sort out. And Republican voters and Republican viewers and listeners look at them and go, yeah, yeah, go. Let's make up something else crazy. Lara Logan thinks it's the Rothschilds. And Madison Cawthorn is getting invited to orgies. All these things. And to the Republican voters, that sounds reasonable. It's amazing. You know, the one thing I will say is I, I, look, I wouldn't believe it if he said it was Mitch McConnell, but I am amused at like the thought of Elaine Chow, like being this like, Underground cougar, you know, and she's like, "You want to chow down?" You know what I'm saying? Like that. That's fun. That's fun. And look, we're talking about consent. They're asking, you know, it's not like anything's forced on anyone. Uh, but maybe Madison Cawthorn just isn't into it, you know. Uh, hashtag underground cougar is obviously trending as we speak. Um, and uh, and Mitch McConnell. I mean, I I could see how he could hide things. He just just retreats into his shell. I mean, you don't know what's going on in that shell. Uh, and by the way, could you? I mean, would you blame Elaine Chow? I mean, oh, I wouldn't blame her. I mean, if she's going, uh, you know, yes, I, I hear you. If I, yes, mm -hmm. there's an argument to be made that she should be looking uh, for other uh, options. Um, okay, but guys, by the way, we make fun of all this stuff, but sometimes, very rarely, some crazy sex rumor in Washington turns out to be true. I totally. I, I used to hear about. How there was a Republican senator from Idaho who would go to the men's bathroom in a Union Station in D.C. That's the train station in Washington, and and give out like oral sex to, to random strangers. And I was like, guys, I hate Republicans too, but don't be nuts. There's no way that's true, right? Wrong. Larry Craig turns out he was doing it, and then he got caught in a, in a airport bathroom. And uh, and he had the legendary wide stance. He said, "Oh no no no, I wasn't playing footsie with the guy. When I sit in a stall, I have a really wide stance. I <laughs> sure you do, brother. I'm sure you do." And then all the stories came flooding out about all these guys who had sex with him in his house while his wife's upstairs. Like so, who knows? Maybe there's some old school Republicans still in Washington who are doing cocaine and going nuts. Uh, in DC, but QAnon, make note, apparently you got the wrong party when you're talking about wild sex parties. Sexual <laughs> anarchy. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for watching the Young Turks, really appreciate it. Another way to show support is through YouTube memberships. You'll get to interact with us more. There's live chat emojis, badges, 
You've got emojis of me, Anna, John, JR, so those are super fun. But you also get playback of our exclusive member only shows and specials right after they air. So all of that, all you gotta do is click that join button right underneath the video. Thank you.